you. If if there's no Pascal and Scotty's there, then he will be doing what Pascal's doing in the block on the post and maximizing his ability. If there's no Pascal, if there's no um um Scotty, you see what Pascal's doing. And this is what I'm saying. Yo, you gotta choose one eventually, man. Dog, this like you have maximizing the team and maximizing them individually is not it with both of them on the floor, fam. And Freddie gotta go to work. That's a mismatch. Go to work. You ask the screen. You want the screen to get PJ when you had the mismatch? Like, are, are we okay? Are we okay? This is what we, bruh. That, 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 that's a, bro. That was goaltending. That was on the cylinder OD. That should have been minus two points, but it worked out. Pay attention to Van Fleet. Look at this. So Van Fleet tells Pascal, yo, go get mine. Go get Max. I'm going to get Bam and use IQ. When they said the screen, I'll just switch and OG will go to Bam. Look at Pascal. He's lost. And people would think this is great defense when they're running his own. Pascal just lost. He doesn't know what he's doing. He looks around and it just worked out. It ended up being great defense because Boucher gapped two and he got back. And right now OG played Bam tight. So he couldn't hit him on the, on the roll. And then it looked like, and it ended up being perfect defense. See? But it was actually a mistake <laughs> that just worked out. What are we doing here? Oh, my God, bruh. <laughs> yo, lucky. Ah, Boucher, box out, yo. Hey, pass quick. <laughs> He's trying to tell him, pass it quick. Boucher, you got to box out. Even though it ended up being Raptors ball, the box out so he can't even get it and put you in that situation. What are we doing here? Okay, OG with Max on him. And look at the gap and look at PJ Tucker. See, bruh. And then it's like OG can't. It's dog. <laughs> And he's like, he's not fully paying attention and fully like in his confident bag because he's worried about the help, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like, dog, this is, this is atrocious. Oh, come on. Good defense, Van Fleet. Cookies. Kill. That's, <laughs> see, they kill in transition. Pascal, say I come in the paint. Cause I'm saying I come in the paint. Boy. Bruh, what are we doing? <laughs> okay. Great defense. Good switch, OG. Good way to pick that up, Van Fleet. Go to the corner. IQ. That's what I do. What are we doing? Good switch. <laughs> okay. Great defense. Mono, e mono. It's all you, Pascal. You got to lock up five seconds. All you. Why you, why you jump? Nigga? <laughs> That's an one. He's a damn son. Why would you jump on the close zone? And now he beats you and you're asking for a hook? No, he beats you already. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Here's the shit. <laughs> He's trying to see, do I challenge? Look, pump fake, he already beat you. Even though he just slapped you, you know, that's just his arms moving off instincts. He didn't even hook. He didn't wrap around and actually hook. He hooked him. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so they obviously went to challenge and, bruh, yeah, that's tough, man. That's actually tough, man. Look, see, pump fake, and then he bit on the next one and stood there. And then, look, he got beat, and he just slapped him with his elbow, but that's just instincts. He didn't actually hook. You're not going to call it, especially when you're already beat and you slid into him and put your leg on the block, like right there. You fouled him already off the reach before the hook. Like, you see what I'm saying? He already beat you. He tried to teach you. <laughs> Don't reach, fool. <laughs> Here's the shit. Uh, offensive. You want to... Timeout. Timeout. <laughs> Hooked. <laughs> so he's explaining to them the challenge is unsuccessful and it's a side out. Bruh. That should have been an and one. That's a foul, bro. <laughs> and there's, mm, okay. Uh -huh. mm, what can he do? Hey, <laughs> he didn't gather. Yeah, like, nigga, a layup. Me both reaching to me. He knows that, man. <laughs> like, bro, dog. Okay, that should have been an and one. <laughs> PJ falls on the floor. What are we doing? Okay. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, bro. Mm, good move. You got to box out, Boucher. I said it again. Look at this. He fakes him and goes around. Basically, not even a swim and boxes. Dog, you got to look at him and box him out, Boucher. That's twice, fam. What are we doing here? And then you, you let them have the ball again. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Good defense. That's great defense. <laughs> okay. Oh, good re good defense. Rebound. There you go in transition. You got two on one. You got to score. Throw it. Throw it. You got to throw it, Scotty. Throw it. Throw it. And then Vincent uses IQ and fouls him. Bruh, and that's a foul to give first one under two minutes. Side out, that's side out. Like, bruh, he used hella IQ. That was, that was, this right here was the biggest play of the game. The biggest mistake of the game for the Raptors and the biggest play of the game for the, for Vincent and the Heat. Look at this. He should have been passing. And now you just foul him and you just canceled opportunity. And now you got an inbound and trying to score in the half court. Bruh, that is, it would have been 98, 99. And it would have been a whole different situation. <laughs> and then now look, and then he pulls the chair. <laughs> he said, I don't care where I got the ball here. My goodness, bruh. And OG's like, it's not fair. <laughs> I react to the fall. <laughs> He's like, PJ, don't come at me loud. Are you going to complain? I'm reacting to the fall, fam. 
Like, what are we talking about? And right here, see OG, see? He has Vincent on him, pushed him, and he misjudged. He misjudged his body, and he actually, that basically was a pull, in chair, the pull the chair without pulling the chair. Because he pushed him, and he thought he was going to come back to him, and he'll have body contact, but he didn't. And he just stood there, so he missed him. Airspace. Look at this, and then, bro, and then foot on the line. And then, now, look, you waste a whole opportunity, and now clock goes down, and you get no bucket. He pushed and grabbed him with his arm. He pushed him <laughs> like dog. Are we serious right now? And then look right here. What are we doing? Okay. Good defense. Good. Get back. Nothing. Okay. Screen coming. Blow by bro. And then <laughs> bro. That are you bro? Boom. <laughs> yo, run that back. Yo, this is horrendous. The first mistake is Scotty getting beat right here. You get beat on the opposite side of the screen where there's no help. That's atrocious. And then Pascal's supposed to be the rotation, not Boucher because Pascal's already in the paint. And then look, boom. You let the tray dog. That's PJ <laughs> and that's game boy. No, not 10 though. That's atrocious, bro. If you paid attention and you actually, you know, you watched and I tried to break it down as best as I could without making it too, too long. You know what I'm saying? But like the, the clash, like I was explaining before and prior, like I've been saying this from time and time and time, like they could get away with that nonsense versus you know, the bad teams and stuff like that, where they're not gonna they're gonna rotate or sag off the wrong guy and it's not gonna be a proper personnel like they're not gonna be you know defensively inclined to actually use iq the good teams is just basic i it's not even advanced iq it's basic iq the non-shooter sag off that guy and help off his pass off pascal's one-on-one -on -one situations the same goes against fred but and even fred like his bag can get limited when you put a jimmy butler on him a bigger guard you know big a fiable like a bigger player on him it's not like it's Kyrie where I could still cook and I could dance on you and I have unlimited ability. There's still limitations to Fred's game, even though he's cooking, right? And it, that's why he needs the PNR. Like you could double it. So it's like when you don't have shooters around, then it's, it's the defense becomes easier. You can shrink the floor. PJ, you see how he shrinks the floor? But you know, it's just dog. It's different when you play great teams or good teams. Their IQ is higher. They're going to play. They're going to play and force you to your weaknesses nine times out of ten. And you have to play within that. When you have a bag on an unlimited bag, you can play with any, any weakness. It don't matter. This is how Kobe operated. He operated with two men in the post, and he was still getting double, tri quadruple, tripled, and still getting buckets. So that shows you that those guys, especially in the back then, their ability is like is different because it's not just the ability one of their skill set, which already like Kobe was off the charts, but what they had to endear, what they had to play with, what they had to play with on a nightly basis with no space and with the floor the floor shrunken half of these guys in the league now have bare space to operate bare space to operate so it's like you can't just say anybody could play back then because will you be able to operate with no spacing a lot of these guys can't they need the perfect situation the perfect you know what i mean like that's what it is now it's about skill and it's a chess match now so there's a lot of spacing on the court and you could see that, like, Pascal needs a lot of space. Giannis needs a lot of space. Bron needs a lot of space. But Bron did operate with, you know what I mean? So we won't even put Bron in the conversation. But a lot of these guys need a lot of space, especially the one-dimensional guys. LeBron still has a bag that he could go to when he's confident. It's there. A lot of these other guys don't have bags, and they need a lot of space. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when you look at it, it's like, dog, at some point, Masai and just the, the Raptors organizations are going to have to choose one. They're going to have to assess the trajectory, you know, and choose which one makes the most sense. Is it Scotty or is it Pascal? And if you keep keeping this, you're, you know what I mean? You're going to lose out on opportunities. You're going to lose out on situations. Again, you never know if Pascal's value even drops low, lower, maybe even goes higher. You never know. But like with these two on the court, it's not going to go higher. I can see that with the naked eye. And even without Scotty, even before it dropped, the only he has a resurgence lately and Scotty's been in and out of the lineup. But again, they haven't been playing the great, like, the teams they've been playing, even great teams they've been playing, there's been COVID and, and injuries banged up. Let's be honest. Finally, the Heat is fully healthy, and they're not even fully healthy. There's still no Kyle, no Victor. A majority of the team is back, and you can see the defense. You can see, like, this is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just they have to pick and choose one, yo. You can't, it, it can't, you can't continue to move like this, yo. And I try to tell y'all, people, y'all just, yo, when true talks, you listen, fam. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to show you that IQ, that's what I do. You feel me? Stop. Stop just being biased. And oh my God, he said he's Draymond. I can't listen to this guy. Oh my God, he said, he dog, what are you, like, listen to the IQ. Listen. Y'all don't know the game, fam. Y'all don't know the game. Y'all don't know, but let's be real.
Let's be real. Some of y'all do. You already know. I mess with y'all. <laughs> I know who, like, I can just tell by your comment. I can just, when I even go in Raptors fan base, you know, group all these chats and whatever the case is and just Twitter. Or Dog, I can see who has IQ and who doesn't. I can see. I can just see just on, based on one state. All it takes is one sentence. Sometimes even one word. And you can know who is who. Mans don't have IQ, man. Mans just see, like, they don't see the game with the trained eye. I got the trained eye. You know what I mean? Like, dog, like, bro, it's just, this is, it's easy to see. It's easy to see. They can't foresee it before it happens. So when Scotty was there at the beginning, snapping with no Pascal, they think that the same guy is going to just be elite with Pascal. They just, they can't eat. Oh my God. And then when we get Pascal back, it's even going to be, what do you mean? It's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. Those two are the, like, look at that play where they both had the instincts because that's what they do. That's their role. That's how they play. That's their play style to set the screen. They had to fight to set the screen. What are like, dog, are we serious right now? It's a redundant play style. They're the same man. It's the same thing you're seeing. Well, Westbrook and Braun, they're the same man. Obviously, there's levels to the being the same man. Obviously, LeBron's a way better version of the Westbrook play style. But when I say they're the same man, their weaknesses and their strengths are the exact same. Keep him out the paint, force him to shoot. Some days they hot. Obviously, Braun's way better shooter than Westbrook. But the point is they both have the same weakness. The level of the weakness is different, but it's the same weakness when you sum it up. Force them to shoot. Don't give them the paint. They're athletic. Stop them in transition. Don't let them run. Like It's the same. They're the same guy. Triple double threats. I need the ball. Ball dominant. Run into the paint, get buckets, pass. You know what I'm saying? Get assists. They're the same guy. They're the same guy. They're the same build is what I mean. So when you have them two together, forcing the guy who needs the ball to play style as the same build to spot up, I'm a sag off that guy. And you see Westbrook look like a shell of himself. He's not, it's not like he's, his ability changed. It's not like his athleticism, it might have dropped a little bit, but you just seen him punched on Gobert last night. It's not like he's a complete different guy. He's in a bad situation, so he looks his worst. Same thing, Ben Simmons was in a bad situation, so he looks his worst. And LeBron, you know, just, they just F it. Let's go with LeBron. And then even they had to change because Westbrook is there. Now LeBron for the first time is playing the five majority of the games. Has LeBron ever played the five majority of the games? Because LeBron still needs to eat. It probably was LeBron. Yo, move these bigs so I can just have the paint. So at least if they're sagging off me, I don't have to have a sag off off the Westbrook and a sag off off the big. And there's nowhere to go after be a skilled shooter. That's why you saw LeBron shooting OD like that and not going to the paint that much. And he was hit and he was splashing. So I rate him for it. But he's not trying to live in that every day. That's not his bag to live in that every day, all day. Twice on Sunday. No. He's like, yo, I need the paint, fam. Eventually, I need to get to, I need to, get to the paint. This is what I do. Take out the big. And individually, you saw him go on a tear. But was the team winning? No, because now the deficiency you give up in the paint on the, on the flip side on defense and rebound, like, it's counterproductive. And that's what you're seeing. The same thing with Scotty and Pascal. They're the same guy. The same strengths, the same weaknesses. Obviously, there's different tiers within it. But regardless, if I'm a defender, I'm going to force Pascal to shoot. I'm going to force Scotty to shoot. I don't want them to have the paint. It's the same thing. Even though they're different, they're still the same. It's the same thing. Come on now. It's true talks because true talks. Share, like, and subscribe. We out here. There's no doubt here. There's no drought here. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. You already know. Man, spread the word. Bro, this, uh, they have to choose, man. Y'all let me know in the comments who you think they should choose. You know what I mean? Because I know I'm not tripping. It's not a fact that I'm tripping. Y'all just have to just watch. If you need to run it back, slow it down. <laughs> I just dissed you. <laughs> just watch, man. Slow it down, fam. Like, you have to, like, this is the, the trained eye you got to see the game with. You know what I'm saying? And this is what, dog, this is what, I, this is what majority of the people don't see. And it's frustrating. And it's just a lot of capery, a lot of cappuccino, a lot of Captain America, a lot of Captain Underpants, just a lot of cap tackler out there, man. There's a lot of cap. And this is why I'm here to debunk the cap. Turn that cap into a toque. At least so it's a small cap. Turn that cap into a fitted. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Turn that cap into a do-rag. Take that shit off or just slap it off. Take off the beak. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's what we trying to do? We're trying to debunk that so man can see with the real eyes and they can realize <laughs> what the game really is about.
and find out who the real guys are. You feel me? Bars never end. Anyways, you already know, like I said, it's true talks, it's true talks. Spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You feel me? I appreciate y'all. We back, we grooving. We out here. There's no doubt here. There's no drought here. You feel me? We ready. You already know. And I'm out, man.